Steve Andrews is giving a voice to the voiceless and taking the powerful to task. Now, 8 on your side investigates. A former Marine search for the truth has taken him to Guam and back. He and others believe they were exposed to dangerous herbicides while serving on Guam. And according to 8 on your side senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews, the evidence sure does seem to show they are right. That evidence includes two Bay Area veterans who were exposed to toxic herbicides on Guam. They are both dead. This Marine is fed up with government denials. The soil beneath this Guam pipeline may hold key evidence. More than two years ago, Sergeant Leroy Foster told me while stationed on Guam in the 60s, he sprayed the herbicide Agent Orange here and around military installations, housing even schools. I was spraying the most deadliest substance on earth, and I, I am responsible for it. The military denies using Agent Orange on Guam. They can't continue going on with this lie. Former Marine Brian Moyer remains unconvinced. Brian recently traveled to Guam where local and federal environmental protection personnel greeted him. They went up and down that pipeline and they collected multiple samples. They gathered soil samples from several locations to which Brian directed them. I have witnessed spring take place on many, many occasions. The samples will be tested for chemicals, tying them to toxic herbicides. Exposure is linked to several diseases, including cancer. The VA routinely rejects disability claims from Guam veterans who believe they were exposed. Navy veteran Lonnie Kilpatrick was sure he was. The VA decided his heart disease and cancer Cancer were not connected to Agent Orange. They've abandoned me and they've abandoned everybody else. After we got Congressman Gus Bilirakis involved, the military confirmed Lonnie's exposure. The VA approved his claim. It makes no sense and for the VA to say it wasn't there, but at the same time they approved. Lonnie Kilpatrick and Leroy Foster knew. They thought other veterans deserved the truth as well. Our veterans, they gave their lives to our country. They don't deserve to be lied to. If you don't want to pay for compensation, don't. But don't lie to us. Did we lie to you? Brian Moyer, who heads up Agent Orange Survivors of Guam, expects the report on these latest soil samples to be released in another 10 to 12 weeks. He was not allowed to take samples on military installations. And of course, sadly, Leroy Foster and Lonnie Kilpatrick both succumbed to Agent Orange related illnesses last year. Right. Well, you have done many, many stories about this. Your yeah. stories have prompted a couple of members of Congress to introduce bills that would extend these benefits. Where do things stand on those? Well, former uh, Congressman Dennis Ross introduced some legislation after we did stories about Leroy, and that sort of never made it out of committee. After our Lonnie Kilpatrick report aired, Congressman Bill Arrakis introduced the Lonnie Kilpatrick Central Pacific Herbicide Relief Act, extending exposure benefits to veterans who served not only on Guam, but American Samoa, the Northern Mariana Islands, and the Johnston Atoll. And so far, that bill has 63 co-sponsors and the support of several veterans organizations. It's still sitting in the Veterans Armed Services Committee. I would imagine a lot more would jump on when these soil samples come back if they have what they suspect will be in that soil. Yeah, I know evidence. you wonder if it's still there after 50 right, years, but it's still showing that. up in places like Vietnam and off the shore and, and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so that's we'll see in the soil. around Smoking for a long, so long time. Yeah. Thank you, Steve. Good sure. report. And uh, make sure you tune in to News Channel 8 tomorrow night as Steve hosts our Veterans Voices special. That's at 730 tomorrow night right here on News Channel 8.